So why do vertical translations and horizontal translations seem to be opposites? For instance, if we have y equals x plus 2, all squared, plus 3, the plus 3 at the end here tells us that we're shifting the base quadratic up by 3 in a positive direction. The plus 2 in here, on the other hand, tells us that we're shifting the graph left by 2, a negative direction. So why are these opposites? It seems to be counterintuitive, right? Well, we know that math, by its very nature, is logical, so we need to look for a clear explanation for this. The first thing that we can observe is that the horizontal shift has the shift, in this case 2, in with the x. Well, the vertical shift, on the other hand, it's over at the end here, and it's on the opposite side of the y. So to better compare these two, maybe we'll move the vertical shift over to the left. And in this case, we're adding 3 to the right, and so we can subtract 3. And whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. And to make everything look consistent at this point, let's put brackets around these. And now we can compare a little more directly. In this format, we can see that the horizontal and the vertical translations are now perfectly consistent. When the numbers are both in with the variables like this, then we see that a positive number shifts in the negative direction in both cases. So we can make sense of it in this layout. But given that, we typically have the y isolated on the left side. So adding the vertical shift to both sides creates a more common layout. So we just recognize that the downside of having y equals and our vertical shift over on the right here is that the horizontal and vertical shifts seem kind of backwards. But now we know why. And we do know that they're perfectly consistent.